Hey guys, listening to NVC reporting for Level Up TV. Today, going to show you some rather useless strats you can implement as Pathfinder on Crossfire. Um, as you know, I play soldier or technician on defense right now for working as intended, and I'm not just a commentator. I do like playing the games at the high level myself, and whilst I can't reveal everything I've been figuring out and teaching myself, I can show you some of the more useless stuff, but it should impress your friends, or even uh, you should be able to use it on public servers and in mixes where uh, you know you want to speed things on a little bit for your team. Um, so, you know, to practice these, Go ahead to training. Bring us into the game now. Uh, Roam map crossbow. And this is specifically uh, for the Pathfinder on crossfire on Diamond Sword because of the skybox and how we're aligning them. You can probably teach it to yourself on uh, Blood Eagle. I can also do them, but uh, you know, I'm not going to waste my time showing everything. I'm just going to give you an idea of some of the things you may not have thought of before. Uh, so as I say, Pathfinder. Um, before we get started, I'll show you the setting I've got for uh, Pathfinder. So I've got the Bolt Launcher on Primary. Some people prefer the Spin Fuser, but I like the additional damage uh, the Bolt Launcher provides and the fire, the speed it fires at. Um, You've got uh, a light assault rifle for secondary weapon, impact nitrum on the belt, energy recharge pack, uh, as opposed to the thrust pack. You've got your, obviously your arm upgrade, uh, safety third, um, which is your additional nitron, uh, impact nitron grenade, and um, additional blast radius. Uh, some people prefer safe fall, which obviously present, prevents uh, as much vehicle damage and also as much fall damage. Um, but I go for safety third in case I decide to change my route and uh, not return the flag and you know go for a grab or vice versa or whatever. And then of course what's pretty much uh, necessary on every class with an explosive weapon or grenade is your egocentric for 35% damage reduction after uh, upgrading it. Anyway, uh, what I'm going to be showing you today is basically useless strats uh, uh, that you would do straight at the beginning. So if you're a Pathfinder capping, this isn't for you, but if you're on defense and want to switch out, this is definitely something you can do. So straight away into this corner, look at the bottom of the crosshair at the triangle, or the little arrow. Uh, we're going to be putting another part of our crosshair right here. Uh, from here it's seven shots. It was around about 7.50 I think. A little bit more than 7.50. It is slightly changing, um, but anyway, seven shots takes the right turret down. Next one, into these boxes. Look at the bottom of my crosshair again. We're going right here. This time, the second one down. This one's four from this position. It's around 1,300, I think. So you got both toes down already. Um, if you do find yourself out of the of the game and the flag gets taken, you can obviously chase. And if you've up there when the flag gets taken, you've got a nitron grenade for the stand, uh, you know, to force the flag drop straight away. Um, again, you know, more novelty. Uh, I wouldn't do this in high level play. Um, I did do it and it worked, uh, which is one of the reasons why I'm just going to show you now because people already figure it out. Um, or I already told people, shall we say. Uh, but anyway, next one we're landing with this flag, uh, and with this we're going to aiming about an inch down. And any luck, it should be landing on the stand. So, um, yeah, I mean, doing this one is stupid because if you're going to do this one, the by the time it takes to hit it, you may as well have just run across the map in case there was a drop of the enemy flag carrier. Um, but you know, if you want to be useless to your team, it's another cool thing. But just something quickly to think about, guys, some of the things you could potentially implement into your game and maybe think about finding uh, some new shots like this on other maps, whether it's on the Pathfinder's bolt launcher or even some of the mortar on the heavier classes. Um, definitely to think about implementing these kind of things into your game it can help your team um, obviously if they're not as useless as this but uh, if you want to see more videos like this guys just leave a comment rate comment and subscribe let me know uh, if I do find anything I think I can show you guys I, I will do in the future anyway thanks for watching and uh, see you all next time